New at six, the month of April is National Donate Life Month, a time to raise awareness about the urgent need for organ, eye, and tissue donations. It's also a time to celebrate people who give the gift of life. And joining us now is Diane Brockmeyer. She is president and CEO of Mid-America Transplant. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks for having me. So let's start the conversation talking about why this is so important this month to raise awareness about organ donation. The critical issue is the number of people that continue to wait. So over 100,000 people wait across the U.S. and over 1,200 wait in the St. Louis area alone. Mm -hmm. So the need certainly continues to grow year by year. So is there one particular organ that's more needed than others? The list is the longest for kidney donation. Mm. So about 60% of those 1,200 people are waiting for a kidney at this I'm point in time. I'm curious if the pandemic has changed the wait times or you know the demand, the supply. It's impacted the candidates that could become donors. Early on in the pandemic, they were fearful of taking organs from patients that died from COVID. Uh, that's gotten better, and they're actually now transplanting kidneys and livers from those patients safely. Uh, but early on, it certainly did reduce, reduce the number of eligible candidates who could become donors. And your organization offers so much support in the community, Diane, including housing. Tell us about the new home. That's, it's a great project and we are very excited about it. So in 2013, we had conversations with our local transplant centers and one of the needs that they had identified was that we needed housing for patients that are relocating to St. Louis either immediately pre-transplant or to recover post-transplant. And that folks who didn't have the means to do that, just imagine coming into town, trying to maintain a separate apartment or a separate you know, house payment. So the financial barriers were really sometimes a true challenge for families. And so this housing is provided for them at little to no cost. So it provides them a safe home away from home. That is so awesome. And your organization was recently awarded a big award. This is huge. Tell us about it. So we were uh, the first organ and tissue procurement organization to receive the National Malcolm Baldridge Award for the second time, wow. which was quite something for us. And what it afforded us was the chance to take our cause and the need for organ donation to, to a national stage. That is Congratulations so awesome. on Thank that. Thank you. So where do you begin if you want to become an organ donor? What do you need to do? The first thing you need to do is it's easy to sign up online. Um, save yes, give life. So .org you can go to. It's also a question that we're all asked when we go into the license office to renew our driver's license. So either online or at the DMV are the most two common places that people do it. And then why is it important to have that conversation if you want to become an organ donor with your family, family. Diane? Mm -hmm. Right, because we really want to ensure, Shirley, that your family knows what your wishes are. You can indicate that on your license, but <clears throat> if something would happen, if the family isn't aware, sometimes they're really not sure about honoring your wishes. If you've already made that declaration for them, it's just much easier for them to get through that period of time. Good point. And thank you so much for your award. Thank, thank you, you so much for the service that you give to the community because your organization is amazing and the way it serves the community of St. Louis is really spectacular. Thank you. And we are honored and humbled to do so. Diane Brockmeyer, President and CEO of Mid-America Transplant. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you.